You know, first of all, I, I'd like to congratulate Steve Kittrell on a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous career. Won like 1,050 games, been great for the Sun Belt Conference, a first class human being. Team is always first class the way they play, so I congratulate him on a tremendous career without a doubt. Um, you got to give these two guys to my side a lot of credit. RJ went out there, you know, starting out 0 0, and, you know, he got the guys out. He got a lot of first hitters out of innings. He got some of their key guys out. He got Overstreet to hit into two double plays, which are huge at the particular time right there. And you never know. You get a ball that goes in the gap for a double, and there's two runs here, two runs there, and it could be a world of, of a different game. Uh, but our guys came out, swung the bat, and were ready to play, absolutely. And Rudy just had a, a great game swinging the bat, knocked in five runs. Uh, a lot of he, He's really been on it, as RJ has. RJ's thrown four or five great outings in a row now, and Rudy's been on it for a solid month, swinging the bat great and getting a lot of big hits. And even when Rudy wasn't going well, we most of the time kept him in that cleanup spot, and that's where he deserves to be. So. Both of these guys did a great job today, as our entire team did. Yeah, go ahead. We talked yesterday about kind of how this format, it's not as much controlling your own destiny where you just can win. So to jump up to 2-0 and is a tremendous, and obviously now you put yourself in the spot for the championship game. So how, is it, how important was it to jump on this team early, which y'all were able to do, um, knowing with kind of momentum they had going after their game yesterday? Right. Well, you know, first of all, this is the first time in 34 years of coaching Division One baseball that I've ever coached in this type of format. And there's always a learning curve. And we thought about the first game, Phil Haig or, or Kyle Fitzpatrick. We weren't exactly sure which way we were going to go. We were going to maybe try to stay on rotation, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And thank goodness we didn't. Thank goodness somebody from up above told me what to do because, you know, Troy plays one game and they're eliminated before they play their second game. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm glad I wasn't that, you know, unintelligent not to, to do that. So it was a good decision on our part, the way we went with our pitch and everything like that. And, you know, if your number one's available, your number two is available, that's who you throw. And uh, that's a big deal. So it, there is a learning curve. and. Yeah, getting out to a, a good lead, you know, 7 nothing right off the bat, all Crenshaw, because he threw pretty well in Miami against us. And then Parrish, who came in after him, he we beat him only 4-2. to two. He pitched a great game on Sunday in Miami against us. So they threw their number two and three, you know, trying to win the game. So. Um, we knew coming to the game that we basically had our destiny in our hands. Um, like we did against FAU to win the to win the series to win the conference, so we knew today we had to get up, jump out early. Like we did, we didn't do last time. We made sure we jumped out early and just made sure we finished off the game. We gave RJ enough runs to win the game and pitch well. It seems like uh, y'all follow a trend of the first game and y'all play. You go extra innings after Western does, and then after seeing the performance of Arkansas State shutting uh, shutting down Lafayette, and then you come out there and. How many hits did you five? And the guy for Arkansas State Parker to give up four and also a shutout. And so, how big was that um, just to kind of take cruise control for a good majority of the game? Well, it's uh, it's huge because now we can save pitching and uh, keep the arms fresh for later and uh, just got to keep winning games. And forgive me for asking this. Obviously, I don't live in South Beach, and I wish I did. But uh, how many have you had a complete game this year? No. No. So, one. Uh, how how deep have you gone? I've been in the eighth a few times uh, this year, but. Were you just feeling it? I mean, yeah. I guess the the run support had to help as well. No, oh, having run support is huge. It takes a. Uh, Huge weight off your shoulders when you're pitching, and uh, today just located some balls good and had every pitch working pretty well. So I know that y'all were perched for a possibility of taking the outright uh, regular season Sun Belt title uh, there up until the last weekend. Now you've given yourself a chance being back in the the conference uh, 
tournament championship. But how big is this? I know that probably after last week, and this is kind of where y'all set y'all's goals. And so, how big is it to go ahead and take care of business really early on? Know that you control your destiny and they're in the driver's seat uh, come Sunday, coach first. You know, the Sun Belt is, I think, the fifth best RPI conference in the country, and it's a really good baseball league. And you've got nine good coaches you know, on those other teams that are really good, really good people and everything. And it's a c competition day after day after day. And, you know, I think every team sets their sights in the beginning of the year to hopefully win the conference. And I think that was internally with our players one of the things that we wanted to do. And it's nice to get, you know, to the final game and everything. And, you know, now we need to go out and play a good baseball game and play well. And we told our players the other day, I think the two most improved teams in our league are Arkansas State and UALR, and they indeed are that very, very thing. Um, every team in the conference is a good team. They can come out any day and beat any team in the league. Like you've seen that during the conference tournament. So, I mean, it was a blessing that we got here. It was our goal from the beginning of the season, and hopefully we'll continue and have a good game on Sunday, and as well as tomorrow. Yeah, about tomorrow. I know that obviously it's still a game. You still have to kind of have to keep that whole energy going. But how do you approach tomorrow? Well, right now I think we have, if I'm correct, 39 victories. And to me, 40 sounds a heck of a lot better than 39. So there's not been one game all year we didn't go out to win, and we're going to go out to win that game tomorrow, um, you know, as best we can. That's what our goal is. and We try to win every baseball game.